Hello guys, this is Wild C third grade lesson twenty four. Let's get started. We have compare, right, bigger than or le less than or bigger than or equal to for each blank. So we have six times nine nine of six or six of nine, we have fifty four. And five times ten, if you multiply anything by ten, just add a zero to that number. Fifty and fifty four is greater. 7 times 4, we that is 28, and 2, there's 2 of 12, so it's 12 plus 12 is 40, I mean 24. 28 is bigger by 4, so we're going to put that. 6 times 8 is 48, and 40 plus 8 is also 48, so that would be equal to 9 times 9 is 81. 94 minus 12, 4 minus 2 is 2, 9 minus 1 would be 8, and 82 is bigger by 1. 23 plus 20, there's no, it's a 0, so that would be 3, and 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 times 6 is 42, and 43 is greater by 1. And 4 times 9 is 36. And 8 times 5 is 40. 40 is greater. 7 times 7, there is 7 of 7s. 49. 21 plus 26, 1 plus 6 is 7. 2 plus 2 is 4. So 49 is greater by 2. 5 times 7 is 35. 23 plus 12, 3 plus 2 is 5. And 2 plus 1 is 3. And they are equal. Nine times, I mean, eight times six is forty-eight. Nine times five is forty-five. Forty-eight is greater by three. Again, anything you multiply by is ten is uh, just a zero. Added to the number you're multiplying by. Eight plus three is eleven. So okay, that one. Three plus two is five and that little one right there so that would be 6 and 61 is greater write a rule for each table then complete the table so here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that's the spiders and legs we go from 8 to 16 to 24 from 8 to 16 it goes up by 8 or it's doubled and from 16 to 24 it's also plus 8. So the rule here is that the number of legs go up by 8. The number of legs go up by 8. So 24 plus 8 is 32 and keep that going and number 2 so we're talking about tables. We have three tables, four tables, five, six, seven. And we have seven here. Okay, so from three to four, that's that's plus four. So each table has four legs. And here, there's seven tables, so that would be seven times four, which is 28. And from 7 to 8, it's one difference. So one more table added is would be added 4. Be 32, and plus 4 again, that would be 36. Each table has 4 legs. Or it goes up by 4. Toy cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And once again, you could do this by multiplication, or you could find a pattern and add so since we know that one toy is two dollars if there's two toys that'd be double this amount which would be four if there's three that would be triple four quadruple and then keep going so four times two is eight and five times two is ten and six times two is twelve goes up by two dollars Alright, it's continued, so we have 
one horse has four legs so same thing multiplication four times four is sixteen four times five is twenty four times six is twenty four one horse has four legs and this one we don't know what one guitar how many legs a guitar has so if it has two guitars and then it's 12 if it's one then it would be half of 12 what's half of 12 that would be 6 so 6 so we could put here the one guitar has 6 so 6 times 6 is 36 6 times 7 is 42 6 times 8 is 48 rule one guitar is equal to or has six legs so we're given the unit one bread is three dollars so we could keep multiplying it fifteen dollars and this one is a seven and twenty one and twenty seven one bread is equal to three legs More problems. Julia has three. Julia had three sheets with eight animal stickers on each. After she gave some stickers away, she had fourteen left. How many stickers did she give away? So three sheets of eight animal stickers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And she had three of those. So if she had three of those, eight times three is twenty-four. And she had fourteen left. So we're gonna subtract fourteen. 0 and 10 she gave away 10 stickers Jack made two cakes for each of three friends in each cake he used three apples how many apple did he use so he made two cakes two cakes for three of friends so that's one friend that's another friend and that's another friend so in total he made six cakes and each of those six cakes he used three apples so six times three is eighteen emma had two singing lessons a month for two months she learned the same number of songs at each lesson she learned twelve songs in all how many songs did she learn at each lesson so two singing lessons a month for two months that means she had two singing lessons this month and two singing lessons another month so she had four singing lessons in total and she in total she learned 12 songs in four lessons so 12 divided by 4 4 times 2 that's 8 let's try it 4 times 3 and that is 12 the remainder is 0 so we know that 12 divided by 4 is 3 Jed had been taking horseback riding lessons for four months. Each lesson he ri he rides for three hours. If he has three lessons each month, for how many hours he has he ridden? Okay, so three lessons each month. Three lessons. We have one lesson, another lesson, another lesson. So that right there is one month. Then he had four of those. So three times four is twelve. And each of those lessons he rode for three hours. So that'd be. Two, three times two is six, and three times one is thirty-six. The answer is thirty-six. Thanks for watching, guys.